Hey, let me tell y'all something. I was just on the phone with one of my employees. I'm gonna I'm put y'all up on some little game. And I want, I'm gonna teach y'all some, some wisdom and knowledge that my grandparents taught me, especially my granddad. Uh, my granddad, my granddad, when granddaddy died three years ago, granddaddy was 92 years old. He was uh, almost 93. I have a painting of my granddaddy right here. That's my granddad right here. That's Ernest Smiley. Let me tell you, let me tell you some of the things I learned from him. See, what I, what I understood, what I learned from him, a lot of people ain't going to like you, okay? And let me tell you something. A lot of people that don't like you are not good people. Let me tell you something. If you're a good person, most of the people that like you are going to be good people. You understand? There's a lot of people that hate you. Let me tell you something. You know who liars hate? You know who liars hate? Liars hate people that they can't lie to. Manipulators hate people that they can't manipulate. Users hate people that they can't use. And on and on and on and so forth or whatever. So when all these people don't like your ass because you won't buy into their bullshit, then what they try to do is label you. Then if they can't get what they want to get out of you, then they try to label you and make it appear as something is wrong with you. When you got that feeling deep down in your gut, that gut feeling about somebody and you don't feel good about them, you know, the ones that be laughing, the ones that give you a goddamn nickname that you didn't ask for. Ricky is a nickname. It ain't Rick. It's Ricky. My real name, Broderick. Ricky is when people start trying to do little stuff like that and little manipulative stuff to try to get in real good with you so they can impose their manipulation on you and you see through that shit. And once you see through that shit, they see that they can't they can't get through. And you just, hmm, it's something about that person because they trying too hard. Because good people that get together, they're going to have a natural, listen, natural, natural bond. We don't have to try. I don't have to try with Steve because I'm a good person. Or, 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 or just with, with most of them comedians and, and stuff and, and different people. I don't have to try because I'm naturally a good person. So natural attracts natural. But the people that lie and manipulate, they go out of their way to try to get in good with somebody. And with their manipulative behavior and their gifts and they nicknames and they sweet talking and over and, and articulation and oh my God and da 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 da. Don't be fooled by these people. You better ask God. If you're on prayer, ask God to give you nothing else. Ask God to give you a spirit of discernment. It's real. I'm 54 years old and I can see right through a person like an x ray machine if they walk down them damn steps. If they come down them steps, I know what they're all about inside and out within three or four seconds. When the minute they open their mouth, I know what they're all about. And then I shut down. I be nice. And I'm always respectful. But, but boy, when I tell you I have that wall up and I set them boundaries on their ass quick. And once you set them boundaries on their ass, they don't like your monkey ass no more. Because, see, they can't manipulate you. They can't use you. They can't lie to you. So they don't like you. And once they don't like you, then they label you.